Hi, in this video I will show you the top 10 tools for network engineers. Many of these tools already exist on your computer irrespective of the operating system you use. And although we mention these tools for network engineers, they may very well be useful for people in security and other domains. With that, let's get started. Number 10. IPconfig IPconfig or Internet Protocol Configuration is a Windows command line utility that displays the network configuration of the system you're on. On Windows, if you simply run the command, it will show you things like the IP address of the system, the default gateway, and the subnet mask. But you could add the argument slash all to see other properties, most notably the physical address, also known as the MAC address, and DSP settings. Apart from just viewing the properties, ipconfig on Windows also allows you to execute commands such as display or purge DNS cache, release or renew the IP address. Number 9. Ping Ping is also a command line utility to test the reachability of a device on a network. Ping works using ICMP echo request and echo reply packets. Normally you would use ping as a diagnostic tool, but you can also use it to measure network performance to some extent. Unlike ipconfig, ping is available on most platforms, not just on endpoints like Windows, Mac or Linux, but also on switches, routers, firewalls, etc. Ping works the same way on all operating systems. Ping also has a lot of options or flags that you can use to customize the ping packets to suit your testing. Number 8. Netstat Netstat, short for Network Statistics, is also a command line utility that displays the current state of all the connections on the device. It can show you which ports are open or listening or having connections with hosts on the local network or internet. It can also show you the state of the TCP connections the statistics of, for various protocols such as TCP, UDP, IP, ICMP, and even the routing table on the device. It can help gauge the amount of network traffic and diagnose slow network speeds or detect suspicious connections on the device. Number 7. TraceRT TraceRT or TraceDout is a command line tool used to trace the route to a particular destination and measure latency across each hop on the path. Unlike ping which shows a complete round trip time from the destination, traceroute can show you the round trip time from each network hop which can help identify any network problem better. Traceroute works in a very clever way by sending ICMP or UDP packets with time to live or TTL value set to 1 initially and then in increments of 1 each time. Any layer 3 device that receives these packets after deducting TTL by 1 cannot forward a packet of TTL 0 and hence sends an ICMP time exceeded message to the source, thereby revealing its IP. Mostly used as a diagnostics tool, especially when dealing with policy-based routing, VPN, and dual ISP scenarios. It's available on Windows as TraceRT, and on Mac and Linux as TraceRoute. Number 6. NSLOOKUP NSLOOKUP, or Name Server Lookup, is, like others, a command line tool that is used for querying the DNS to obtain the name to IP mappings. However, unlike others on this list, NSLOOKUP works in both interactive mode and non-interactive mode. Meaning you could enter all the arguments and execute them similar to the other tools mentioned earlier, or you could type NSLOOKUP and enter the prompt with a greater than sign. NSLOOKUP is quite flexible and you can change the DNS server from the default configured one to a different one for testing. It can also allow you to query DNS records other than A record, such as PDR, MX, CNAME, TXT, etc. NSLOOKUP and all the utilities mentioned thus far have help guide built in detailing of which options are available and what each option does. Number 5. Notepad++ or basically any solid editor. Notepad++ is arguably the best text editor on the Windows platform. Personally, I wish it existed on macOS, but the alternatives such as Atom and Sublime Text do a great job nonetheless. Having a great editor, especially when you're dealing with verbose logs, or just reading scripts will make your life a great deal easier. Many of these editors have public plugins, which can be a game changer in some cases. Take for example, Compare plugin in Notepad++. It lets you quickly and easily find out changes in two files line by line, or Minimap in Atom, which lets you navigate to the part of the file of interest in a second rather than having to scroll through page after page. Number 4. Buddy Putty is a free open source terminal emulator. It allows you to do things such as SSH, Telnet, and Serial. On Mac and Linux, you can just use these built-in terminals to carry out the most of the operations Putty has. 
but he may look a bit dated but trust me it's still the most popular terminal emulator on windows at least when you're getting started other than just connecting to devices it does a great job of logging the sessions has plenty of customization features lets you change the appearance of the console and even gives you options to set various parameters for different connection types it may not be perfect but it's the easiest, lightest, and the handiest terminal emulator you'll find on the planet. Number three, a lab environment. I believe any network engineer aspiring or working should build a small lab environment that can be used for testing or validating. It could be as simple as installing a hypervisor like VirtualBox or VMware Fusion on your PC, or using dedicated tools for network simulation, such as GNS3, EVNG, or Cisco CML. There are plenty of paid options in the market as well, offering tailor-made solutions. At the end of the day though, your job may not allow you to play around with the production devices, so having a lab setup can really, and in some cases, become critical. And apart from making you a better engineer, it can help you be better at IT processes at your organization. Number two, programming languages. Let's face it, we are living in a world that is getting more automated by the day. Whether you like it or not, as an network engineer, you have to acquire some level of competency with programming languages, at least to the ability to read some code. I would suggest Python to get started and pick up more skills along DevOps and automation track. And I do believe that becoming a better programmer will make you a better network engineer too, even if programming is not the main thing at your job. It helps with critical thinking, and since you can now put yourself into the shoes of a programmer, you can easily identify software issues impacting network performance, troubleshoot faster, and provide better feedback within your teams at whatever role you have, from network engineer to even a product manager. Number one, Wireshark. Okay, I'm biased. This one is my favorite, so I placed it on the top. I absolutely love this software, and I can't find enough reasons to open it and look at the packets. Wireshark is the most common packet analyzer in the world and is a must know and must have for anyone working with computer networks. It is free, open source and full of great features. Basically, it lets you see what's really going on when you open the hood of your network connection. You can use Wireshark for education, analysis, troubleshooting or software and protocol development. I could probably make a whole series just on Wireshark alone. That's how rich the software is. In fact, there are several courses on the internet and a Wireshark certification if you're interested. So that's it guys, that wraps up my list of the top 10 tools for network engineers. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you want to watch more videos like these, please do consider liking and subscribing. Thanks and see you in the next one.